Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a 2024 Chevy Silverado 3500 Dually. Before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to Justin with JB Reviews for providing me with his brand new truck. I'm going to include a link to his channel in the description down below, where he does a bunch of truck reviews, truck comparisons, and RV reviews. Anything that you wanna know on a truck from daily driving to towing, he has videos on it, so definitely go subscribe to him. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time I purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this truck is the 6.6 liter Duramax diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 470 horsepower and then 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting at the top, you guys can see we've got the cab lights there at the very top. And of course, we have our Allison Transmission Duramax badge here on the hood with the venting here in the center. And then you guys can see really cool daytime running lights here with the headlights. And then look at all the chrome here on the front end. And then we've got more chrome here at the bottom with the bumper. We've got fog lights there on either side, tow hooks as well. And when you put it all together, this truck looks really cool. And again, this is the LTZ package. I think I forgot to mention that earlier. Oops. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 235, 80, 18 in the front and over in the rear as well. And you guys can see here with the wheels, we got some chrome bling because I mean, that's kind of what the LTZ is all about. And then look at the fender flares here on this truck. Now, I've never actually seen dually suspension up front, and uh, even though it's a dually, still independent front suspension, it looks like. And then you notice we got chrome here on the mirrors, 3500 HD badge, and then look at the side steps here. Those are sharp looking, really like those. And then we got little splash guards, it looks like, and then of course we got our bedside step as well. And then of course we got the markers here on the bedside because, well, it's wide enough that you need them. And then you got the dual rear wheels. That's so hard for me to say for some reason here in the back. And then look at the leaf springs back here. That's chunky. And then here's your full side view with the truck. You guys can see it's the larger cab configuration. It looks like this has like an eight foot box. That's pretty cool. Now here's our key fob. We have our unlock function. We've got our lock function remote start, the tailgate drop down, and then you got the Chevy bow tie there on the back and press that a couple times to help well, drop that down. Now, Justin's obviously added a tonneau cover here, which by the way, <laughs> I think that's like the biggest tonneau cover I've ever seen in my life. Are you sure? I'm, I feel like that's more than eight feet. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. I, I, I don't know anything about pickup trucks, apparently. Anyways, you guys can see we've got all the plugins and everything for the fifth wheel set up here. It looks like uh, these might have been the old side steps with or the original. And then we have a full power outlet back here as well. Now let's see if this has the auto raise. No, so you have to pick up the tailgate yourself. And then you guys can see here with the badges on the back. And then we got the new style of tail lights here of course you got the bumper step and then you got the larger exhaust tip that's one of the ways you can tell us is a duramax is actually how big the exhaust tip is and then again more chrome and then wrapping things up i really like the look of this truck i think it looks a lot better than ford's dually because uh similar to what ram does they actually like have a unique like bedside here rather than just tacking on fender flares to make the dually work and so it has this like clean look now popping inside, you guys can see we've got the wood trim here at the top and then we've got the leather trim down below again. This is the LTZ. And then taking a look at the seats, similar situation with all of the leather. You've got the behind the seat storage, you've got more under seat storage as well. And uh, you can tell that uh, Justin's a real truck dude because he has tools in his truck. I mean, come on, what more could you ask for it out of the guy? But anyways, <laughs> good storage space back here. Leg room here on the back's really good. You guys can see we've got a little storage pocket. Got some outlet action with USBs. And then this has a little cup holder armrest here in the back. And then headroom back here, that's solid. Now taking a look at the front door panel, it's the same as the rear. You guys can see with all the stitching and everything. We've got all of our window controls. Front two are automatic. You got your mirror adjustments. This does have the mirror extend function as well, which is pretty cool. Memory seats as well. Now, of course, we gotta go over the payload. So 5,362 pounds of this truck, which is super solid. And then popping down below, you guys can see gross vehicle weight rating, 14,000 pounds. Conventional towing, pretty interesting, 20,000 pounds, just like a single rear wheel. So that's kind of interesting, but gooseneck is where things get pretty crazy. 31,000 pounds, that's insanity. And then with the front seats, you guys can see all of the leather 
trim. We've got the power adjustments here on the side. And we've got our parking brake right here with our drive mode select and then your tow haul mode select as well. And then our drive line select. And notice this still has four wheel auto even with the dually. That's pretty cool. And then you've got your light controls and then the steering wheel itself, it looks like it's uh, yeah manually adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel itself, really nice leather trim all around, and then I like this trim as well, it's pretty cool. Radio controls in the back with our controls for the center stack. We've got our, our cruise control here with heated steering wheel button on the steering wheel, little turn signal stock, and then of course got the column shifter here with the plus and minus to manually shift the gears yourself if you want. So here's the center gauge cluster, full digital gauge cluster. It looks like we've got a full tank of diesel, almost a full tank, about 500 miles range is what it's showing. And that's cool with all the tire pressure, so you can see on all of the wheels. Uh, and then tow haul mode just shows up a little animation there. Yeah, that's interesting. You don't get the, I guess this doesn't have the normal, like little animation with the gauge cluster. But anyways, regardless, it's got the normal drive modes. And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera. You can change it to like the trailer line and then you can also zoom in as well. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, first off, response time's fantastic. It looks like it still has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is pretty cool. And then, yeah, I mean, super easy to use. You got the shortcut bar, and then, of course, we got the home screen buttons right next to each other. So we've got our diesel exhaust brake control, lane departure, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, and then giant blank switch. So we've got trailer brake controls integrated from the factory. We've got a dual zone climate, and this thing I've never seen before, LTZ with only heated seats uh, so yeah weird no air conditioning seats and then this one has the bench seat which has the storage on the top and on the bottom and then obviously it turns into a seat itself and then you got the double glove box situation and then nice leather trim all over the dash and then it looks like yeah just the regular mirror oh this is weird so no sunroof and the rear glass is fixed this is like a base base ltz Yep, and the window sticker kind of confirms that. So you guys can see 2024 LTZ, and here's the standard equipment section. The warranty, by the way, five year, 100,000 mile on the powertrain. I think that's important. But base MSRP is $64,000, and this basically has the engine added, the Duramax, right? You've got the wheels, the fifth wheel prep, and then this chrome steps, which looks like again, Justin swapped those out. But yeah, seventy-eight thousand nine hundred twenty dollars. This has no like. <laughs> that's crazy. I've never seen this before. That's pretty interesting. But anyways, let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, and throughout the rest of the rear. And <laughs> I just, that was funny. Anyways, let's set off here in this dually. So again, before we get into the driving, go subscribe to Justin's channel. He does a lot of, like I said, towing tests and everything. And he's obviously gonna do a lot with this truck. Uh, it sounds like he's going to do some stuff on, uh, with uh, renting with this truck. So like have other people basically rent it from him and do uh, obviously towing themselves. And so I think this truck will be like, I think it'll be fascinating just to follow the story of this particular pickup truck, like to see, you know, the capabilities obviously. And then to also see like what happens to this truck. Like, you know, is someone gonna like just destroy it with towing and all that kind of stuff that uh, rents it out? Again, it'll be, be very interesting to watch. Um, but actually setting off, I mean, yeah, it's a dually. <laughs> and so it's definitely, uh, it's definitely, you know, a little bit more on the cumbersome side of things to drive. It's it's a lot of it's a lot of pickup truck. That is for sure. A lot of vehicle just in general. The powertrain is super smooth still. I do like that part. The thing I love about this new Duramax is just how smooth it is. Now it's got HD truck brakes, they're spongy. You gotta like you gotta really push in for anything to happen. It's definitely a weird feeling. Yeah, this powertrain is so smooth. And this truck actually rides really well. But a lot of people asking me, you know, GM versus Ford versus Ram in today's market with ride quality. And I think that GM is the best right now with these 3500 series trucks. I mean, you still get some bumping and everything, but it's far more compliant than the Super Duty and then the Ram 3500. That is for sure. Yeah, I love this engine. It's just, it's so torquey, but it's just, it's also, again, this, the smoothness that you get out of this powertrain 
is incredible. I'm, I'm interested to see the train tracks with the leaf springs, how that kind of performs. You gotta remember this truck's unloaded. Yeah, I mean, that's that's better than I expected, honestly. They've done a, they've done a lot to make this uh, very daily drivable HD. That is interesting. It's so, it's so crazy for me to drive this because it's just such a big pickup truck. Well, let's get our big acceleration here with the Duramax dually. Whoa! <laughs> that was crazier than I expected. Holy guacamole. This thing's, this thing's nuts. Again, you hear 975 and you're like, oh, it's not, it's not even a thousand pound feet of torque like Ram and Ford, but this thing, this thing's probably, I think it's underrated. I think, I think uh, GM, I think you're fibbing a little bit. I think you're fibbing about these power figures. Cause that, that felt, that felt quite a bit punchier than a 975 pound feet of torque. I'm just saying. So something things up with the uh, dually. This is, I think the first, no, this, I've actually reviewed GM duallys in the past before. Yeah, but this is the first with the new body style that I have reviewed. Super impressive specs. Uh, the payload's right where it needs to be to be competitive. The towing is right there. Um, and then the gooseneck towing as well. The only thing that I, th I think is kind of weird is why is the conventional towing so, like it's not any greater than a single rear wheel 3500. That's that's my only question. Um, do you have to like, I'm guessing you have to change the axle ratio or something like that, but I just, that, that part of it, I do find a little bit uh, strange. But let me know what you guys think about this 3500. And let me know if you would go dually or if you'd go single rear wheel after watching this review.